ser feliz Demais Pra ser feliz Feliz Demais Pra ser feliz We're at the Pista Claudio Coutinho I hope I said that right Not to insult anybody in Brazil uh, But it's a beautiful uh, walking path uh, with a lot of trees and stuff, we're right below Sugarloaf Mountain, which is a place that we're about to go up and take a cable car up and check that out. But just the, the nature here is just beautiful, very serene and calm. A lot of people walking and uh, doing exercise along this path, the sun shining down, and it just doesn't get, it doesn't get any better than this, man. I mean, just look at that view. It's just beautiful. I like Frank? this weather better in Germany. This is Frank. Ah, two shirtless dudes. This is my favorite place to be. Two shirtless, oily dudes. Well, I feel like I could take on the world since I already took on Wrath and survived. You didn't fight the master. I didn't fight the master, but I took on Wrath. I'm pain. And I, I know the ladies were jealous that I was on top of Frank and then he was on top of me. Yeah, I hope the ladies don't get too jealous. You're lost. Really. But ladies, it's all of that. And a bag of chips. <laughs> you know, you like off right? Okay. It is in Bacar. Hey, I'll buy it. Gracias. It's all right. Okay. You didn't go anywhere yet. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need this. It's real. Yeah. That wire is going to burst. I don't need the black and white old picture. Oh, see that? Look, look, look. I don't want to look. I'm fine, dude. I'm so chill. This is great. You know how chill I am right now? I wish. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Why is he gotta lean like You gotta get him under, get him under though. Dude, the worst spot ever. Because you can see yeah, that. I'm not looking more in the middle. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be. Oh, look, 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 look. Window, man. That's packed. <laughs> we don't need to go any higher, man. I hope it's just some like like respectable like pastor or something. <laughs> Eric, let's go higher. We don't need to go any higher. We're high. Right? Why? Because we're pretty high. I'm not high oh, enough. Let's go. Well, let's go. Not, I want to go high. I don't think there is any other higher. I think that was it. I think we're at the top. Where's the higher? He's lying. We got to keep going up. Oh, We're shit. at the ground level, we need to go to the fourth floor. Should have paid that guy up before we uh I'm not scared, man. The guy. I'm not scared. No. You did you didn't look scared at all. I wasn't. I'm not afraid of nothing. Look at you. Some of you guys might know that I have this great fear of heights and here I am on this cable car going up to Sugarloaf Mountain, scared enough already and then I got Frank and Antoine swaying the car back and forth trying to scare me more and uh, I always find myself in these situations on the road trips somewhere with the heights and it's something that I'm working to overcome and one of the places that I draw inspiration from that is Frank's story from when he got into the car accident. And as some of you may or may not know, about three years ago, Frank's going to correct me here, um, yeah, that's not happening. I was holding on good. Okay. About three years ago, Frank got into a car accident. Uh, a lot of people ask him, he's got some scars. So I just want Frank to just tell us what happened with the accident real quick, and then we're going to want to ask you about your scars. Yeah, I was uh, just driving home from the gym one day, normal day, and uh, someone drove into oncoming traffic and uh, T-boned me on my driver's side. Um, then they took me to the hospital and pretty much... Um, I was bleeding internally, and I had my spleen removed. Uh, I had a, a large piece of skin ripped off my left arm, some damage done to my uh, left shoulder, uh, collapsed lung, uh, lost three liters of blood. You, you had several surgeries, and I noticed some visible scars. Can you show us the scars and just explain what, what each one is from? Uh, this one, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what happened, but I know because this is the side I got hit on. Um, they told me that the skin was ripped from here, here off a piece of skin was just ripped off. It's not, it's not a cut, the skin was ripped off. Oh, wow. And they were going to do a skin graft, but because I, I lost weight so fast, they, the skin uh, had enough room to, you know, sew back together. So I had my arm in a, I had my arm in a cast for about two months, just so I wouldn't bend it, rip it open. Right. Um, even you see some parts where it's bigger, scars bigger. 
Uh, I went back to the gym and I trained and ripped the scar open while I was training and blood, you know, blood coming down your arm. So yeah, uh, and this one, this one is just uh, they had to remove my spleen because I was uh, bleeding internally, and you know, cut you right there into the muscle, right to the middle, open you up, take some stuff out, sew you back up, so staple it shut. They, I mean, when they do the surgery, they rip open the abdominal muscles and stuff, and that's is splenectomy. The, the splenectomy. Is that do you have any mental scars or psychological scars from the accident itself? Oh yeah, I think that uh, that's probably worse than the physical scars. I mean, trust me, I was in a lot of pain for a long time, and you know, uh, going from feeling like Superman in the gym to feeling like you know, you, I couldn't even get out of bed for for two months. I laid on my back for two months and couldn't move. So I, that's pretty the physical part. Uh, but even to this day, yeah, you still have moments you think about it and what you've gone through, and you know, it's sometimes it's it's hard to get past it. Was there any point? Even like immediately after the accident, was there any point where you thought that your bodybuilding career was over? Oh yeah, many times. When you're laying in bed, and you know I, um, I was hooked up so, so many different machines. I had you know wires hanging from everywhere. Oh, I, had, I also had a collapsed collapsed lung too. So you know I had something help me help me breathe. Um, you know, just arms in a cast. I had everything you can imagine. You know, and you, you can't move, and you're just laying there. Um, you know, you think, how are you gonna come back from this? Hey, what's up? Pirate. That's okay. Pretty high right now. Yeah. Cool here, It's crazy, right? It's Larry. The lizard from Brazil. Brazil. Ping.